Hello, my name is Daniel Langley. I'm a head of drama, a specialist leader in education, and also a GCSE examiner for drama. At my school, I take on the role of staff governor, and I've been given just five minutes to give you a brief introduction of governance. And I've called it getting to grips with the basics because I've only got five minutes, so it really is a broad brushstrokes approach. I'm gonna do this in three parts, who, what, and why. So first of all, who are governors? Well, if you think of your school, that's everybody beneath the line, the senior leaders, you as a member of the teaching staff, and then all of the non-teaching staff, and of course, the students. Day to day, you're working together to produce the best outcomes for your students. Everyone's working really hard, trying to do their best for that group of young people. But who's there to oversee that? Who's there to question and to support and to challenge the decisions being made by the school leaders and the school as a whole? That is the governing body, a group of people who are there to question what's happening, to support the leaders in their ambitions, and also to challenge them to do what they say that they're going to do. So who would want to do that? Well, it's people who, of course, have a vested interest in the quality of education being provided by the school. Now, the head teacher becomes a governor automatically. There's a chair, usually uh, a person who's leading the whole group, a parent or a local professional or someone who has a vested interest in the school. And then there are staff governors too. And this group of people together have a real interest in how well the school is doing. And that brings us neatly onto what they are trying to do in their role as governors. Well, really, they're trying to fulfill these three core functions. And you can read those in detail in your own time. But essentially, it boils down to strategy. Where is the school going? Performance. How well is it achieving that? And finance. How is it using the public money it's been given to do so? And governors are really looking for trends. So in these three areas, are things getting better? Are they staying the same or are they getting worse over time? And if so, why? And what is the school going to do about it? <clears throat> so let's imagine things are getting better. One particular subject is getting fantastic results suddenly. Brilliant. How was this achieved? Can we apply it to other areas? Are things staying the same? A school's received a good Ofsted rating for four inspections in a row. Great news. But are we happy with that? Do we want to push for an outstanding rating next time? Or are things getting worse? And why is that? And this breaks down further, of course, under strategy, performance and finance into these areas broadly. So governors want to know, are things getting worse, staying the same or getting better? In strategy, is the five year plan working well? In performance, how are exam results? What about student welfare? Are our behaviour strategies working? Have our exclusions gone up or down? How do we feel about how that's going? And finance, of course, as well. What are we spending money on? Are we getting good value for money? Or are we just not really spending it very well at all? Not really getting the best that we can for the students? So why would you want to do this? Well, I think it's people who have a vested interest in the education of the students and someone who wants to know what strategy, performance and results are and wants to have some sort of input. And hopefully, having trained as a teacher, that's you. So you get a real chance to do some professional learning. It's a volunteer role, but you also don't pay for any of the training or for any of the experience. And it gives you a seat at the table. You get to say to all of the governors what it's like in the daily experience of your school. And as drama teachers and teachers of performing arts, I think that's really, really important. You also get to give a wider contribution to school life. And of course, it can help you with your career progression. For example, if you look at uh, person specifications for senior leadership roles, it isn't unusual to find something along the lines of has a real understanding of what governors do. And what better way to achieve that than by being a governor yourself? So you should get involved if this sounds interesting right from your NQT year. When you start your new school in September, ask whether there's a vacancy for a staff governor. But you might want to be a governor at a different other school, perhaps more local to you or a primary school. So check out the adverts on the National Governance Association and also on LinkedIn to find out further information. Thank you very much. That's a very brief introduction to governance and I hope it was useful. If you do have any questions, feel free to use my Twitter handle to get in touch. Thank you.